Local restaurants and breweries are teaming up tonight for some isolation fun. Let's bring back Mike Augustinak. And Mike, I love a good game of bingo. I do too, and this is similar to bingo, but it's got a little twist, Jen. It's called Bizingo, and it's all going to be done virtually. More than 30 Twin Cities businesses are taking part, many of which are in the North Loop. You have to pick up a bingo card from the restaurant or brewery, or if you order delivery, the card will come with it. Now, people lined up last week to pick up their cards, and these were some pretty long lines. Once you have that card, many chose to cover it with uh, whatever they had. As you can see, food was a popular choice. The idea is to help small businesses, of course, but also to give people something to do while they're stuck at home. We wanted to find a way that people could come together and play together like you would at a regular restaurant or, you know, or a bar or a brewery, um, but still then encourage people to you know, go and stop by their favorite um, breweries or restaurants. So it was the closest thing we could find to having Saturday night game night, but we still wanted to make sure that there was some encouragement to support the local businesses who've really been affected by the shutdown. So this is actually the second week of this event. Bazingo caller Angie told me that she believes there were more than a thousand people playing along from home last Saturday, and we wanted to know what the winners got. So all of the restaurants and breweries have graciously donated either gift cards or growlers as prizes for Bazingo. So we have up to 30 locations participating this week. So 30 prizes to give out to Bazingo winners. We're gonna be calling five rounds. So lots of prizes to give away. Now, if any businesses are watching from home and thinking about doing something similar in other communities, uh, Angie had some advice for that as well. We faced a lot of roadblocks just in the two weeks of us doing it, kind of de dealing with the Minnesota Gambling Board, for example. So, of course, it has to be a free game. Um, you can't use the word bingo. Don't do that. And just keep it fun. Keep it interactive. Um, keep it free. It looks now, like if you a lot want to of take fun. part in tonight's Bazingo game, absolutely. Go to WCCO.com slash links to see a list of participating restaurants so you can get your card of your own. And you tried, did you try to play last week, Jen, or, or so, not? So I went out to get pizza at Black Sheep Pizza last night, and there's all these people in the, in the street and standing around social distancing. But I didn't know about Bazingo. So I looked into what was going on, and then I found out. So I got my pizza, but I didn't get my card. So this week I'm going for it. I think I'm going to go for free house tonight but pick up my favorite there but both those restaurants are participating again with, along with a number of other restaurants so I'll play along with everyone else tonight Mike well you did end up with pizza last week and that's not that's not a total loss in that, my opinion particularly uh, black sheep yeah definitely a win and at least